love trying with you guys. <laughs> Good morning you guys from the French concession as we try to not get run over. Ni hao, how are you all? Ni hao ma. Guys, we are in this very different area today. We came from um, the Nanjing Road area and now we're walking down. Oh, excuse me please. Oh, these smell really good. Oh, someone stopped already. So I'm gonna say we're walking down this area and eating smell. Sorry, excuse me because I am very hungry. I need to get something to eat or drink because I am passing out and there's already too much walking we've done. The metro is here, can I just say this? Are huge. There's something here, it smells really good and it looks really good. But we've come down to this kind of different neighborhood. It's very hip, very trendy. I think it's like a lot of expats live here, so a lot of foreigners are in this area they choose for this to be the residential area and it's kind of i think more um businessy as well like a bit more of a business district i am ready to check this out you guys already we stopped past some good smelling food stalls so i'm waiting to see what Taz decides he wants let's see a few moments later <laughs> oh my goodness you guys we are just having a right old giggle because I'm our lens serious. No, I'm using Apple Translate. And the so menu that's is over here. However, our one is selling us hot lemon. Oh, can you see that? Hot lemon tea with dark shit. Anyone? <laughs> Any takers? <laughs> not me, not me, not today. <laughs> I don't fancy some duck shit in my lemon tea today, thank you. <laughs> oh dear. You've got to love it. Technology is brilliant when it works and not so good when it fails you. Like today, there's another one that is telling us we can have dark excrement as well. <laughs> I think I can have peach oolong tea. Okay, that sounds yum. Oh dear. Hot fresh milk tea, I want milk tea. Just make sure when you guys come here, uh, because there will be a language barrier, make sure you've got your Apple Translate or your Google Lens on the ready. Everything that's Apple related, it all works here. So Apple Maps, Apple Translate, everything's good. Google, not so much. So just make sure you've got a translator ready. We uh, saw some pancakes here as well, so probably we might eat that too. We just thought we'd come to a new neighborhood and see what's happening down here. This is called the French Concession neighborhood. Looks very hip, very trendy at the moment, very new. So it's a, it's quite a large area actually as well. It spans over quite a lot of the city. But yeah, there's loads of different bits to see and it's also famous for its um, road lined with like the trees and they arch over and it looks like really beautiful oh, yeah? and pretty, yeah. Oh yeah, look. Yeah. I think it's down every way. Is it? Okay. I think, yeah. We'll find out. We're just waiting for our drink. But there's quite a few colonial buildings here as well, like some ancient old buildings. When we came out of the train station, that one there, Cafe Cinema, that's quite old as well. We got it. <laughs> Lin Lee. This is the shop. And hopefully, it's going to be a good one. Let me uh, put this to the test and see if it was worth the wait. Oh, it comes with a little dog. <laughs> that's so cute. <laughs> I hope that's not duck poop, but if it is, it tastes really good. Uh, I love this. Like a little duck and a drink. It's uh, warm milk actually, so. What flavour? Jasmine. Mm. It is good. It's like a bit bubbly. Huh? I like yeah. it. Let me show you the trees that Libby was talking about earlier. The ones that are on both sides of the road. And they form like a little arch. So they cover the road, that's beautiful. French Concession is the name of the area. And there's quite a few shops on both sides there's as well. Loads, and there's so many coffee shops, wow. If I'm not wrong you guys, then Shanghai has the most number of coffee shops in the entire world. It's like what? the city with the largest amount of coffee shops. So the scene here, uh, it better be good. I think there's something like 7,800, which is madness. Really? Apparently so. Where did you hear that? Because if I can do some quick maths, if there's 7,800 shops and you go to one every single day, it's going to take you uh, 
Like over 20 years. Easy. Wow. Can you imagine? I would not That's associate crazy. Shanghai with coffee culture. Neither would I. I However, thought it would be something like Hanoi or like Vietnam mm, as a country, maybe. I mean, there's loads of Starbucks here. That's all I can do. True that. Okay. Got some construction going on. Give me one second. We need to cross. I'm having fun with this little duck. So this area is definitely a very trendy... Excuse you. That's the first time I've had somebody yeah. fit that much in Shanghai. I was going to say the same thing. That's crazy. But it's very like trendy and kind of hip area. It's kind of reminding me a little bit like um, Soho. But there's loads of like little boutiques. There's loads of little cafes. There's quite a lot of construction going on as well. I'm not sure for what, but... Oh look, we've got a wine bar there. Very snazzy. All the shops around here as well are like decked out for Christmas with all their decorations. I'm loving it. We've even got a barber coming up here. Look at this oh, one. Very nice indeed. This looks like a proper old school traditional one. Oh yeah, we've got a little telephone box and then a Santa right above it. Cute. You guys, it is so hot today. Well, it's not hot, but compared to like the temperature where we've had for the last few days, honestly, I'm gonna need to undo my jacket. I'm sweating. Wow. I would say it is hot. It is warm. Hot. Hot. Look at this really colorful building. So cute. We've got a lot of like little trendy shops as well. We've got some food down here. This looks popular. Guys, we are always hungry. I don't know if you can tell, but anytime we go out, we can't function without some food first. There's people everywhere, I guess, for a large city. Very large population. It is probably gonna be a little bit busy. Oh, thank you. Food cooking there too. Maybe some some corn or something. Some cheese. Mm. There's loads of little different bits like, that you can just pick on, I guess, to go and eat. But I think we're looking for something a little bit more substantial because we are hungry. Mm -mm. You guys, we've been seeing these little bikes everywhere. They're like, I think the electric ones that you can rent. So I think you have to have an app and you can then like take them out for like an hour or so and it obviously charges you. We were thinking, should we get on a bike? But it's a kind of cool way to explore the city though. I don't actually think we can do it as well because um, you have to do it through like the, the app. And unfortunately our phones aren't working with quite a few like apps that we already have or even if we're trying to download new ones. So for now, we'll just look at everybody else who's renting them. For now, we're just gonna have to walk. All of the Western apps don't really yep. work down here. If you're using, Android, you're a bit screwed. End of. So, Play Store doesn't work here, so all of your Western apps, they won't work. And uh, you can't download any new Chinese Apple. apps. Apple's the way to do it. So we can't get AliExpress or Alipay or WeChat and all of that jazz. I mean, I tried doing it on the Apple. I don't know how that works still. Like, it's a bit complicated, but it's fine. There's places that we found out where you can withdraw cash. Oh yeah, so we found a few banks where you can withdraw cash without getting charged anything extra for international yeah. transaction fees. And the rates are pretty good as well. It's uh, China CITC Bank. CITIC or something. CITIC yeah. Bank. Just make sure you can get cash. It's not readily available everywhere, but if you look, you'll find it. We have zero plan. We have zero idea of where we're going or what we're doing, you guys. But also there's so many different like makes of cars that we've seen here. No idea what this one is. No idea what this one is. They're all so, ooh, they're all so, so different. Oh, we've got a BMW. We all know what those are. This one called Build Your Dreams. Build Your Dreams. These must all, I mean, they're obviously all Chinese, like, owned, but. Oh, they look beautiful. Yeah, they are. They're nice cars. We've just never seen them before. So we're discovering so many new things, you guys. It's been a very eye-opening experience so very interesting so we're a bit lost now i think we're a little bit lost we've been walking for a while and just going should we go left here should we go right here should we go straight here the best thing about the the neighborhood is um it's all in blocks mm, it's very walkable as well yeah. like there's huge pavements on the side of the roads there's big like crossings rock and roll time to cross Okay, we are heading 
down here. We've still been walking. This entire place is huge. Get this. So we're taking a little shortcut through the park. This looks so cute. Look at the trees. I reckon in summer when it's all like in bloom and stuff, it would be like fully. What's it called? It's like, it feels like magical where they've like in autumn caved or over. Fall, yeah, or that, like a little yeah. arch. Yeah, that would look sweet. If the maps are correct, down this way is a little shortcut to the central part of the neighbourhood. It is a weekday and there's still too many people out and about, so that is pretty cool. Hello. I just love the look of this place and especially when the skies are blue. And it's not grey here, Shanghai looks even more beautiful. Really, really, really nice. I'm loving it. What is this? Okay, this is, this is another traditional building that I've just seen right now. I mean, it's... The style's traditional, but it's not old as such, if you know what I mean. On our 144 hour visa, we are only allowed into, I think, three different areas, that's it. So, while we're here on this, we haven't got a lot of time to explore further outside. So, we're mainly sticking to the city this time, but we're gonna have to come back. China is a country that is full of so much, there's no way you can see it in just one trip. So, we are a thousand percent already know we're coming back. <laughs> Where are we going? A little bit of exercise going on here. Let's have a look. Uncle's hard at it. Stretching and things. <laughs> what is that building there? Should we head that way then? Yes. Just when we're trying to find our way to uh, the main central area of the neighbourhood, we're walking through the park and these ladies, they just started dancing. Why not? Only in Shanghai. Oh, they've got like, um, like colourful clothing on. Yeah. Now they're going. I love it. Are you going to go join them? I don't know the steps. Otherwise, I'd love to. We can go freestyle it. Circle as well. It's so cool. We're truly lost in Shanghai right now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how we stumbled upon this, but we did. <laughs> I would love to go and see what a shopping mall here looks like. That would be kind of cool, yeah, for sure. There's just so many designer stores here in Shanghai. You've got a massive Versace. Got another Apple store. Balenciaga. Wow, this shopping mall seems massive. Like the level of development here in Shanghai. The malls, I wonder what they look like on the inside we haven't been to a mall yet so maybe we might just go and do that but i was saying the level of development here is unrivaled unparalleled like wow another santa where's yes. you guys another coffee shop <laughs> that's number 5534 <laughs> did you say there's like over 7800 close to like 8000 i think so yeah in the whole of shanghai it's wow. supposed to be that's the latest stat I read. I don't know if it's changed, you guys. You can let me know, but that's crazy. That's impressive. Balenciaga, right next to it is Burberry. It smells really delicious along here as well. The whole place is like, just filled with... We're water. still looking for food. Good food. <laughs> yeah, we are. We're still on the hunt. Oh, is that a bakery here coming up? This one here. Ooh, Ooh that smells good. nice. Oh, that is definitely a bakery. Yeah. Oh wow, just when he thought you can't get more designer. We got Prada as well. What is this? This is a shopper's paradise here. So many Western brands here. Probably more Western brands here than back in the UK. Uh -huh. Like to be honest, there's so much. You guys, we found a place here that is selling a beef noodles. So Taz is just deciding what we are going to have. It looks super yummy and we really fancied like some noodles or something good to eat. So now we made it. 
Happy day. Did you order? Cool, big menu here. So I'm just going by what I can see. It's basically got a picture, so I'll have this. Yeah, we just looked at the picture and said we'll have one of these and one of these. Yeah. Okay. Yummy. Beef I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. It's been a long day of flipping, walking around, and being lost in Shanghai. <laughs> the food is arriving. Share, share. Oh wow! Look at this. This comes with mine. It's like I think it's like pickled veg. Then I've got noodles, a beef. This looks like some broth in there as well. Oh, wow, I love the noodles. That looks so Have you seen the good. Size of the yeah. It's, it's ginormous. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> How many people is this meant for? Like the entire village? <laughs> it is pretty big. Wow. And you got a chicken on the side. Is that That's not jets? chicken. That's um. That's chicken. No, it's not. I think it's vegetable. Is it? It's not chicken. I thought it was chicken. No, it's vegetable, I think. I'm just going by what the picture says, you guys. Honestly, I don't really know any anything else. Try it. It's going to be a vegetable. It's spicy. Mm. I have no idea what I just ate, but it's so good. <laughs> Most of your fingers chicken that you're eating. Thank you. Wow, this is so good. If you ain't got enough beef in your soup already, yeah, you've got more beef on the side. <laughs> That is um, vegetable that yeah. feels like it's chicken still. Okay, do you know what? Try it. it. It's so good. What is that? What is that? Good or not? Tell me that. Yeah, good. <laughs> does it not taste like chicken? Yeah. It does. There you go. Yeah. Thank you, Shay Shay. Thank you very much. Wow, this looks amazing. Oh my goodness, this feast. The size of the portions here uh -huh. is enormous. <laughs> Look at that! That looks so yum. They're still trying to figure this one out. But the seasoning, the oil, the mm, dressing. Yeah, whatever it's coated in. It's so good. <laughs> that, that's the beauty of it. It's so good. Mm. All right, guess how much all of this is? Like one portion, Libby's portion. That is beef. whatever that is. The egg. Egg. This mm, massive noodles. portion of noodles and some beef on the side. This is less than four pounds. That's not. That is amazing value for money. Like China uh, is amazing. super affordable, yeah. actually. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, the only thing we found to be slightly more expensive is the accommodation, mm -hmm. but food, commodities, activities, transport is all really affordable. Oh, is transport, good? especially, very, very affordable. Yeah. Uh, but uh, what is this? Tofu. This is tofu, and I swear it tastes like chicken, but again, tofu can taste the taste of anything. Because yeah, of the, so true. The seasoning it's got, I'll, I swear I thought I was eating chicken. i never seen tofu that's like shredded either. It's normally like in a chunk, I thought, mm. but it's really yummy. Welcome to Shanghai, baby. Can you hurry up and eat? Because I'm so hungry and it smells so good. Come on, put the camera over here. <laughs> let's tuck into this, guys. All right, so. Try the noodles. I want to see what they're like. They're Give really those good. noodles a try. I can tell already. Tell us what you think. Ooh. So good. So, so, so good. You're going to love this. Guys, I can't tell you how good this smells. Yum. Switch. Mm. <laughs> Before Taz eats the rest of mine. Let's go. Oh my God, it's so good, you guys. The beef is just next level. The noodles are so good. That still looks like a champion ball. Like the size. It is. Huge. Every time I pull the noodles out, like there's more and more and more and more and more. Top notch, top notch, you guys. So far, all the food we've tried here has just been so good. Mm. Like we can't get enough of it. I'm already sad. Like the time we're spending here is not enough. Oh my goodness, that food was incredible, you guys. And honestly, we have walked so much. I have no idea where we even oh, are, but. <laughs> We are running across the road. Yeah, Woo! I think we've changed areas completely. I have zero clue where we've uh, walked over to because this is a different neighborhood altogether. We have definitely walked so much that we've changed whole areas. It's far more residential now, but how- Yeah, this is definitely a different neighborhood. Yes, <laughs> for sure. We've got loads of more like little local shops. It's much smaller. Yeah. Oh yeah, look, we've got loads of little flats up there probably, little apartments, we're watching, hanging out, we've got a duvet up there as well. Look at all of these bikes. 
Wowie. <laughs> that is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Is there I a train station? I anywhere? actually see a metro, a Dude. station pointing to the right. Okay. Down Rewind. there. Rewind. Oh. Run. Run. <laughs> yeah, we've seen loads of malls here, you guys. They yeah, tend to be, from what we've track. seen, a little bit more like designer, I would say. Really upmarket bits, yeah. Yeah, for sure. But let's go check one out. I've never seen inside a Chinese mall, so why not? Let's go see a high-end, super high-fly shopping mall here in Shanghai. So you guys have an idea when you come here the next time. Right, so let's go. A few moments later. We just, you guys, headed into the nearest 7-Eleven for a quick water stop. And look at what we spotted there. There is a Father Christmas bow bun. Look at that. That is so funny. You were so surprised. You were like, what is that again? Yeah. Bun? Santa bun? <laughs> only in Shanghai, people. That's how we do it. That's how festive they are. Yep, only in China. Santa bow buns. That's how we do it. <laughs> but you didn't know that about Shanghai, did you? Look at these 7-Elevens though, you guys. Honestly, you could buy any food you want, like pre-made. We've got, there's probably some meat there, some potatoes. Do you know what that is? Maybe something fried. Wow, and all of this oh, as well. Wow. Look, noodles. Wow, some sausages. All the kind of drinks, snacks that you could literally wish for. That's nuts. What have you seen now? I've seen more. I'm like a shiny magnet to food. And like shiny food. shiz magnet today? Yeah. I'm going to get this out. How on earth are you still hungry? I'm not, but is it a snowman? Uh, a that's a Christmas? lot of dessert is what it is. <laughs> well, it looks freaking good, but it also looks like a little ball ball. Oh, I like that. that Actually, that does egg. look really nice. Um, Chewy. Like Oreo. Oreo. Yeah, it what is like that? Oreo sundae or something. Or something. Yeah. Oreo cheesecake. Guys, I'm obsessed. Can you leave me here? Wow, this is amazing. Send us a postcard. Yeah. <laughs> Are you literally going to get everything out? <laughs> What's this one? Oh. There's a little Santa hat. It's a nice gem with Santa version. I'm obsessed. I love this country. I love China, you guys. I mean, you could buy it. You name it. You could buy it. I don't even know. I'm speechless. The desserts are crazy. Just everything is on another level here, you know? Like, you want something quirky, something neat. You're going to find it here. Crazy. Grand Ferrero. Have you seen Look a Ferrero so that massive? <laughs> well, wow. I've never seen a Ferrero that big before. Let's leave before we end up buying big Ferreros. <laughs> <laughs> or a Santa style dessert. <laughs> anyway, we're back down to the metro now. We found one. So we're going to hop on a train and head back further into central Shanghai because we've wandered a little bit further out so there you go that's the plan that's shopping mall we're coming for you yeah shopping mall let's you guys we have a day pass on the metro one of these it looks so different in the sun look at it the winter sun looks beautiful i love the whole china vibes guys it just honestly it's such a cool city it's actually pretty laid back i would say for a city of this size and like for to have the population that it has it's very laid back like it's quite easy going you know there's no like hustle and bustle there's no big crowds or like pushing nothing like that like really nice i mean even now it's like rush hour yeah time in case if you guys are wondering it's uh, almost half past four we just came out the metro and no one seems to be pushing into one another there's no chaos or anything as such the traffic has picked up a little bit, but as you can see, it's still moving. There's no gridlocks anywhere, which is epic for a city this size and magnitude. This is next level. Where are we going? We're going here now. Back. Look at all of that bit there. Again, tall buildings. Oh yeah. That looks gorgeous with the sun shining on them. Like red flowers in every balcony, that is so beautiful. You guys, there's a huge church right on the end here as well. That's the Notre Dame of Shanghai. Do you think? <laughs> yeah, well, it is now. <laughs> that looks like the Empire State Building. <laughs> wow. 
Okay, we've just said it's not busy, but this path is getting a little busy right now. We can continue doing random stuff here in Shanghai. At every single stop where you come off, there's so much to do. And we've come out again and we're surrounded by so many high rise buildings again. You can tell we're back in the Wall built up Street. downtown. Oh yeah, Wall Street English. I wonder what that's like. We've got the Conrad down here as well. Oh, and we're going. Wow, you guys, honestly, I am speechless. This city is the city that keeps on giving. We've had the most fun just wandering around today, you guys. Like we said earlier, we had a zero plan of where we should go, what we should do. But honestly, we've just found our kind of way around, just wandering. It's an easy city to navigate as well. Like, it might be Look. huge. Wow, look at the camera. I don't know if you guys can see that or not on the camera. However, there is the TV and Rectio Tower, the Pearl Tower. Wow, in all of its glory in the sunlight. That is so beautiful. Wow. <laughs> There is no shortage of food anywhere in Shanghai. Like this entire parade of shops, yep. they're all restaurants. I was just thinking the same thing and there's loads of like bright lights. Give it like an hour or so, it's gonna get dark and this is all gonna light up around here. Wow. You're not gonna be hungry when you're in Shanghai. That is for sure. So much good food everywhere. Oh, yummy. It smells so good down this road as well. I wish you could send a smell through the camera, you guys. Wow. There is a never ending display of yummy food, different drinks. We've got a lemon tea. Oh, do you, fa uh, you fancy a lemon tea? You don't need to ask me to I was just going to say, should we get one? Okay, okay. this looks good. Like yeah. So, we have different lemon teas here. Peach. Mm, yeah, I was going to say, you can see from the um, picture, do you want to have peach? Do you want to have maybe coconut? Okay, I've, I've taken a picture. Oh, you have? Peach, guac, quiz, that's coconut. This one is frozen lime. Oh, this one? Yeah. Ooh. Uh, oh, these ones look like grape. Lychee. Can we have a lychee one? This one? Yes, yes please. One. one. <laughs> Thank you. Sure, sure. Five. Yeah, I think it's good. <laughs> you guys, we have found so far most places will take like the Alipay, the WeChat. They don't all tend to take um, international cars like MasterCard, Visa, or Amex, but they will take cash. If they see you, you're a tourist, they will usually tend to take cash. Even some places don't take it, but we've asked, like we don't have any other way to pay. Please, can we? And they've said yes. So don't worry if you're in doubt, just ask. But yeah, one lychee, lemon tea coming up. And also, do you know how many of these that I've seen everywhere? They're like power it? banks for your phone, I think. Oh. And you basically scan the QR, uh -huh. the same as like Alipay okay. and WeChat. It takes the payment out of your account and then you, you have one of these. You walk around with your phone yeah. charging and then you can just return it anywhere, I think. Every country on the planet is playing catch up <laughs> and Shanghai is in 2050 already. <laughs> yeah. I've seen them everywhere and I wondered what they were and I asked someone earlier, what are they? And he said, but These are your mobile your charging for you. Yeah, like a power bank kind of thing. Do you pay for the QR code? Yes, I think One so. One of these slots becomes available, then you plug your phone in. Happy days, jobs are good in. That was what I understood, so pretty cool. That's it for that. I was gonna say, <laughs> we're pretty much done. Here we are. And I love the way they wrap up um, drinks around here. Happy days, Happy. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Keep yourself hydrated yeah. for all of the walking we've done today. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm thirsty. I'm so thirsty. Nice little lemon tea, good on the throat as well, you guys. The weather's been really cold here as well, so. Mm, very good. Good. Yummy. That is so nice and refreshing. Nice and fruity. That's such a good little hybrid. Lychee and lemon. Love and life. Okay, done here? Good, yeah. Carry yeah. on, moving that way now. Aim at the game right now is uh, we want to go and check out a good shopping mall, a high-end designer 
shopping mall so we're looking for one i don't think it's going to be a hard thing finding a high-end shopping mall here because shanghai quite literally is full of them so let's see we'll be here somewhere i can sense it i can i can feel it within five minutes from here somewhere is that the the main commercial area i think it is okay well, let's go that way Oh my gosh, these electric bikes are lethal. Everywhere. <laughs> They're absolutely lethal. They can go a good old speed. Yeah, and you don't even know when they're coming up as well. No, you don't hear them at all. Okay, so there's no green man here, so we need to. Yep, go. And let's go. Some crossings have green man, and some crossings don't have no green man, so. That is the biggest Zara we've ever seen anywhere in the world. Like, that's a multi story building. Huge! Wow, and look at the plane going over us, so golden! <laughs> oh, where is it? There it is! That's okay. Crazy. Do you want to go inside? Yeah, should Check I it out? It? Why not? Let's, Let's go. Do it. I can always do a Zara. Let's go inside Zara and see what's happening. This might even be the biggest Zara in the world. It looks big from the outside, but I didn't think that it looks that big inside. Oh, we'll find out, won't we? This might be the biggest. I'm going up. It says, it's number three. Let's there. Go then. Yes. Go on then. Vamos. Lead the way. We're going to start with the men's section first. Because oh. usually, every time we go anywhere, we check out the ladies' collection first. So this time, it has to be men's from the third floor. Are you ready? No. This looks snazzy. I like this. That's nice. I can see me in one of these. Not bad. Wow. Floor three, men's. Let's see. Is there anything that's going to catch my eye? I don't think so. Nothing yet. Shoes all black, mm, not my style. All right, this is nice. This is very nice. I like this color on you. Oh, I like this. Really nice. Should I get it? Yeah, nice jump up. 4 My bad. So that's 45 pound. Yeah. Not bad. Doable. Do you know what's caught my eye? What? Is it the color? There's this beauty here. Oh, look at that. All right, let me try this one. That is nice. Oh, so soft. It's like wearing a towel. <laughs> yeah. So good, it's like That looks so bag. nice. You're putting it off. There's a mirror here. Come here. <laughs> Catwalk it. Yes, girlfriend. Yee-hoo. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. Feels like I'm a big teddy bear now. Oh, this one. Oh, this is nice. I actually quite like that. Guys, I'm gonna have to drag Taz out of here in a minute, otherwise I think we might be here for quite a while. There's actually some really nice stuff in here at the moment though. We might spend a few moments extra. That was really heavy as well, by the way, like proper. That alone <laughs> raised more than half of a bag of lungs. <laughs> All right, we're in the women's section now. See anything you like? Some nice little, like, I thought you had something like this. Uh, I do actually. Oh, check that one out. <laughs> How to look like a horrible one on one? Stop it! I could make you one for free with a cheese grater. <laughs> 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 Put up my nan, you know, criticizing all the young hippie kids' clothes. Who on earth wears this to look hip? That just makes you look harmless. No. How much? How much do you have to pay to look harmless? I can do it for free. 529. <laughs> so that's like 55 quid. Yeah. 55 about. pound to look homeless. Wow. That's crazy. Do you guys ever had that thing when you bought like ripped jeans and they're all the fashion and all your grandparents were like, haha, I could rip them a hole for free. <laughs> 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 like that. All right, Zara, you've been a pleasure, but not right now. We're going to make our way out. It was nice doing a little window shop. See what your collection for 2023 fall is like. Mm, okay, out we go. Let's go, let's go. 
think that Shanghai Ice, if that's what you call people who live in Shanghai, they love a little bit of shopping and so does everyone who comes to this area because I see people walking with huge shopping bags so we're embracing it right now. Here we are, as promised, in a shopping mall here in yes. Shanghai. I don't know the name, you guys, but actually we walked in under this huge Pikachu. So That's the one. No, that will give it away, but wow. There's there lots of Pikachus be... everywhere, by the way, here, so. They're yeah, true, that. You're not really making it too specific. <laughs> no, that's true. There's designer on design. I don't even know where to look. Tom Ford. What else have we got? We've got Dior. Bobby Brown. Helena Rubenstein. Bobby, Bibi, Bibi. I like going to the atrium just to have a look to see what's happening. Look at that. Okay, this is how people in Shanghai do it. Oh, five, six, I count seven floors. Seven floors, it's all styling and profiling down here. It's like big brands and all that jazz. Already I've seen Rolex, Cartier, Gucci. Fendi, Burberry, Prada, Chanel. Chanel. Esmeralda. Whoa, wow, you could have a field day in here. This is ginormous. Armani. Wow, it's literally, this city has it all. They've got Pokemon on the lift. Do they? Yeah, look, this one here on the left, down at the bottom. Pokemon. Pikachu yeah, going up. Yeah, Pikachu. There it uh -huh. is. Pikachu. They love that Pokemon here. Yeah, they do. They're, oh my God, it goes down as well. Oh, there's it's another floor. seven floors. This lift just went down. There's another floor going down. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There's at least two more floors. Whoop. There's more jewellery and things down there. Starbucks. Starbucks, yeah. Shanghai definitely has the more Starbucks as well in the world. That I think I've ever seen in my entire life combined in one city. Let's go up, see Let's what's happening. It. Let's go. All right, wait, I need to show you guys this. I have never on our travels anywhere in the world seen this. That's a swirly escalator. It's going to go up and down. Have you seen anything like this? I actually don't think I have. Imagine getting this excited over escalators though. Pretty cool. Look at this. <laughs> escalators are usually dead on, like straight. Yeah, box standard, straight. Oh, I love it! Look at them ones there! See? The same thing on the other side as well. <laughs> Another thing we've noticed is there's no BS about you're not allowed to film because you're in a shopping mall nothing of that sort like normally when we go shopping malls around the world usually there would be at least one or two security guards that come up to us and they're like oh you can't really film here because it's not allowed i have no idea why but here no bs like that whatsoever there's no issue i hereby declare this mall as the best in the world look they've got all of these like figures again Taz is obsessed with these, honestly. You can't drag him away from them. He like gravitates towards them. That's in Japan. Whoa. These are ginormous. That's nice. bigger than you. Yeah. Taz for Cost scale. 6'2. My guy is way taller than I am. Wow. Look at all of these ones as well. Look at you, you're like a kid in a candy shop. This is the main floor, the action attraction, the main event. Pokemon, Pikachu. You can even play 
with your car too that is so cool look at this you got the battlefields here have you got your cards mm. no i don't have my card do you not no. <laughs> we could have had a little pokemon battle i stopped collecting cards when i was like i don't know in primary school you guys they, they haven't been a thing for a long time i think in they the have no unless you're like a full-on collector yeah look at these no I remember getting them though, my brother used to like love them, he used to be obsessed. I love Pokemon. The only one I ever collected was Pikachu. Is that it? <laughs> oh. I didn't know any of the others. Wow, where well, you guys, this mall is ginormous. They even have an entire floor dedicated to just playing Pokemon. Pokemon. That's pretty epic. Or wow. Moon Shanghai. <laughs> yeah, that's nuts. But you guys, I think that we are going to finish it up here because we're going to carry on exploring this mall a little bit. But we are tired after today. It's been a long one, but it's so much fun, you guys. Shanghai is the city that keeps on giving. There is something to do around every single corner. Epic. It's been amazing. If you have made it this far, then thank you very much, Shay Shay. And you guys, if you haven't already, then you should subscribe. You guys know the drill. Like, share with all your friends and your family. Leave us a comment. Let us know what your favourite thing to do in Shanghai is. We would love to hear from you all. And we will see you at some point somewhere in the next one. Subscribe. Let's go.